is advancing in technology fast, kind of like this electric scooter right here. But they're becoming so powerful that they're becoming unsafe. So I want to make the executive decision and from here on out, I'm going to be wearing helmets riding all of my electrical vehicles along with all the people I let ride my electric vehicles because I don't want anything happening. And since they're getting so fast, it's worth the safety precaution. It's a good thing that Surfshark is a sponsor of this video because they can do the same thing for you online. Online is like the wild west where hackers can get to your data when it's breached or leaked and they can use whatever they want on the dark web. And you don't want your information floating around there. For anyone doing anything online or especially someone in my field, safety online is crucial. Surfshark is a VPN which means virtual private network. It encrypts your data so people online can't access things like phone numbers, passwords, messages, bank info, and location. Stuff that you don't want people having access to while you're online on your phone or anything connected to the internet. You can also change the location of your connection to one of their many countries and servers. So you can watch TV shows that aren't even available in your country, like this F1 race. That's one of the many things they can do for you, and if you are interested, you can click the link down below, and you can use code POE for an 85% discount on top of three months for free. So if you want to go ahead and do that, use code POE. It's not really breaking the bank at $2.05 a month. Even if you don't feel satisfied with your protection online after that, they still got a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's pretty much like insurance for the internet, so anyone with the brain would understand that it's kind of better being safe online when you really don't know how many people have your information, and you'd be surprised. It's more than you think. So thank you very much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Let's get into the scooter, because this thing's freaking insane, and I'm a man saying that I like this scooter. It's always mom's spaghetti. It's never lasagna from Grandma. Farla, Eagle One Pro. They sent me a scooter. They want me to show y'all what it's all about. I'm kind of curious myself. Let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. It just came in a few minutes ago. Let's do. This is a scooter that actually has some pretty cool specs. It actually goes pretty quick. This ain't your bird scooter from your downtown laying on its side. This is a freaking unit. It already looks really big. <laughs> it's pretty freaking unit sized, I'm gonna be honest with you. Look at the bars. <laughs> This is a scooter. Jeez. Okay, so this is the Eagle One Pro. It's not just the regular Eagle One, which means this thing is the upgraded beefed up, full suspension, ABS brakes. It goes 45 plus miles an hour. It's got 2000 watt motors, it's got disc brakes. It's got full suspension, two charging ports. That's just like the first glance. That's all I know about it right now. I've never ridden it before, never seen how it rides. I haven't really watched many videos on it at all. I just kind of went in not knowing what to expect, but I've ridden like a little Razor electric scooter before. So that's what I'm basing it off of. Okay. So, <laughs> and I guess the okay is too. Jeez. That is some meat right there, bro. For a scooter? For a scooter. 11 inch tires. So to put it together, there's this little lock right here. You undo the lock. And then now the scooter's together. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the bars on. It's really not that hard. There's four Allen heads. You put the handlebars on and then you're done. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Here's one of the keys. Oh, it's on now. 87% charge. As soon as I tapped the key on it, it was instantly just on. All the gauges are there. So we're on pedal assist mode one. Lol. <laughs> There's no pedals to assist. All right, well, it works. Maybe I should look at the instructions. Nah. So we've got it together. I went ahead and went into the settings and there is a setting to where you can take it and put power mode at five. It says not to do that. We did that. So we're gonna see how it actually goes and on a little bit of torquey mode. I'm telling you, that's literally not even 10% throttle and she just wants to like cook. I guess we're gonna take her on her first ride. We're gonna walk out to the street. We see what it's like at slow speeds. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. <laughs> so I guess our smartest idea would just be to go as fast as it can go. Oh my gosh, I just got it up to 37. <laughs> First ride ever. It's torquey. And were, you, were you like pretty pinned to get 37 or? I was like 75%, like I wasn't even pinned the whole time. <laughs> I'm supposed to be talking, I'm sorry, I'm a YouTuber and stuff, but like that is actually surprising. 
when I was going 30 and trying to stop and slow down, like the brakes were actually like I felt like I was riding a motorcycle going too fast, and I was going into the, the stop right there. Really? Like, it, I, I don't feel comfortable leaning it yet because I don't know how it handles. Well, that's like driving the OKs at level one. Yeah. We're already past the OKs. <laughs> Would one of y'all like to try? This is insane. I just hit 40. That was kind of cool. I'll try it. <laughs> level one's like, okay, like the okay scooters. Like I was just cooling with it. And then you hit level two, bro, and it's just like, <laughs> it just hard as hell. This bitch is sick, dude. Tanner, let me get on that thing. Yeah, ride that thing. It's very large. Dude. <laughs> Caleb explained it perfectly. You know, chilling on one, and then you click it into two, and it goes, <laughs> <laughs> And then you click it into three, and that mug goes. <laughs> I did, it felt weird to turn. We definitely have to get used to that. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's large or if it's the steering. Or I what. think the steering's stiff on purpose, so that way it's more stable at speed. Yeah, you're right. You have to be straight when you hit the throttle, because if you're turned, it'll start. Mm, it'll try and wiggle you away, and it's on all-wheel drive mode right now, so we could turn that off too. Now it's just that on could, single that motor. That could have been part of it. That could definitely be part of it. I didn't think about it. I've never ridden an all-wheel drive scooter. Yeah, same. We're, this is all. <laughs> should not be legal. Yeah, that's Poe. We've had it for five minutes and this dude's picking the front wheel up. Oh my lord. I bet it'll have that, that mask. motor definitely is way smoother. Really? Oh yeah. Like, I'll put it in one motor mode and like let someone ride it at the track. Okay, so there is a reasonable mode to use. Like, there, there's an unreasonable mode which is dual motor. Oh, yeah. But then one motor is like actually reasonable to ride and like let your friends ride without having them have motorcycle knowledge. <laughs> Literally just one motor versus two is enough from the difference of like pulling you off of it almost versus literally just riding smooth like a regular scooter. Yeah, no, it's definitely a lot cooler than the bird scooters, but that's what it feels like power-wise, the way it delivers on the slowest mode that it has. And then you put it on the highest mode that it has and it's more power than the chopper. The one that I had that went 48 miles an hour. That's kind of crazy considering that it weighs a lot lighter too. It's at 93 pounds whenever the scooter is the way it is. It's 107 pounds shipped and it's 93 pounds everything else. That's crazy. All right guys, we're going to be riding the Varla Eagle One Pro. You already know what it looks like. You've seen the videos. You want to see what it actually does. Handlebar controls, pretty simple. Thumb throttle like a snowmobile or four-wheeler. Hydraulic disc brakes. On your right is your rear. On your left is your front. Here's your display and your controls. First gear brings you to 15 miles an hour. Second gear brings you to like 25 miles an hour. And then third gear brings you to 50. So you shift them up just like that. And you downshift as well, just like a regular motorcycle. It's pretty simple and it's really smooth. Headlight press all the way on now your headlights on and we put our bell right here so without further ado let's ride this is pretty fast I will say get a little stoppy in so one thing i know with this thing so far is it is very very touchy we have it on the most high output mode it's to be known that this thing will throw you off if you don't have both hands on at all times so if you're riding this thing even just slowing down or like just riding with one hand like this is very sketchy because you can see these small bumps and it moves a lot you want to keep both hands on this thing because if you don't have them like firmly planted and one of them falls off the bike will take off and your hand can't react to it so it'll pull the wheel whichever way your hand isn't holding on so if my left hand wasn't holding on and i press the throttle the scooter is going to take a hard right and it's going to take a hard right oh that's why you don't do that. <laughs> it takes a hard right directly under, out from under you. So you can lose the scooter out from under you like it's nothing. So I wanted to make a big disclaimer to anyone if you did end up purchasing one of these things, definitely be very careful. Wear full gear on this thing. Things can get out of hand very quickly. It's something that you want to protect yourself with. It's kind of your life. So you want to make sure you're good in that front. So let's go and do a little bit of riding and let me show you what this thing's capable of because it's got some pretty good suspension. <laughs> Like, I could jump up like a freaking trampoline on this thing. It's kind of crazy. Meanwhile, me going faster than the speed limit. Farlow, you have created yourselves a freaking unit of a scooter.
That was smooth. All right, so first riding impressions for this thing. I put five miles on it so far. And uh, I will say this thing is not what you expect. It's a lot of power. It feels like you're riding the chopper. I don't know if y'all have watched my chopper video, but it feels like that with more power and lighter. So it's kind of like the best little setup you can come up with. It's all wheel drive, obviously. So this thing's freaking chugging along no matter what. All right, so this is some now aggressive terrain. I'm at like a good 30 degree angle. Oh shit. Howdy, howdy. Hi. Oh my gosh. It's too much. It's just too much. <laughs> oh, oh try power. She's eating. Football. Damn, the suspension on this thing is immaculate. Oh, I didn't even see that curve. I didn't see that curve. I hit that curve straight on and I just like pulled the front and it jumped it and the back tire didn't even touch the curb. <laughs> this thing's catching air on everything that's slightly pointed up. Like it's just going up so fast. This is the real test right here. Ah, this is the real test. I'm either gonna eat shit or I'm gonna do really good. Oh shit. Oh my gosh, that was about the smoothest thing I've ever seen in my life. I need to do that again, that was crazy. It didn't bottom out once, this thing's wild. I'm gonna do it again. I just hit that going 35, so I'm gonna try and see if I can go faster. Coming in hot. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh my gosh. Something about going down those stairs at 35 miles an hour just hits different. That is pretty sick. Isn't it? I want y'all to see from a better angle of what that is actually like. Beethoven would be jealous. Oh, all day long I got that. Should I do it? Yes. All right, I'm gonna do it. I just got it today. I don't know if it'll do it yet. Pretty simple. <laughs> oh my gosh, it does it. <laughs> Five stair like nothing. Oh my gosh. Um, Caleb, this is stupid. <laughs> I literally said, should I do it? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it didn't bottom out. Go ahead. <laughs> this thing's kind of cool. Really, just anything's a little playground. And it's not limited to on-road either. It's really kind of like an on-off-road situation. Like, this is nothing. And I'm on a scooter. That makes no sense. This used to be a hotel and then a tornado came and now it's no longer a hotel. What in the world? Can't be on some floor tile like this and not do some burnouts. <laughs> All wheel drive scooter burnouts or something different, what? Okay, I'm gonna put it on two. So to change it from single motor to dual motor, I've been riding on dual motor mode, which is stupid fast. Let me swap it to single mode. You press and hold the plus button. When that green little thing goes away, you're on single motor mode and you can do burnouts and all that fun stuff. However, if you unplug the brakes, which is the red one, 
then you can give the bike brakes and it'll go. It's really dangerous, don't, don't recommend it. But you can do stuff like that. That was just about the coolest thing. Oh, also to turn it on, you press and hold that button and it's like, give me the key. This right here is your key. I'll just put it on my key ring and we're on. The bike turns on just like that. You hop on, hit some throttle and go hamo blamo mode. Easy. This thing doesn't care about jumps, bumps or nothing. All right, so I'm gonna put on my mask and show y'all what we can do. Third gear, we're gonna get down and tuck a little bit. All right, so I will tell you, I've gotten it up to 50 before, but it's not on a full charge. If you could tell right now, we are at a solid 46%. Solid. What'd you get that thing up to? 34. Really? Yeah. This one got to 47, but it's at 47%. Oh, dang, it's so well, I started at 60 because I forgot to charge it last night. Yeah, I'm kind of dumb. But I'll do another top speed run with a full battery in the video. That'll be right here. I'm gonna say overall, I approve of riding this thing. It's pretty cool. It goes very fast. It's very dangerous. It does have a lot of miles per charge. We get around 40-ish around there whenever we get the thing going and whenever we're full tilt. And we usually full tilt the whole time we ride this thing because it's kind of insane. Right now, I'm thinking more towards yes because it's pretty cheap and it's a lot of scooter. But you have to be a good enough rider to be up for it. So do you have it? That's up to you. I don't know your history. But otherwise, I think it's pretty solid.